Well, where when you think about virtual reality, you probably guess that it was made around the early 2000s when technology innovation was still booming. But the truth is, it was even before that. Stay tuned to find out. But what is virtual reality? It's the use of a computer to immerse the user in a computer generated environment. For a person to experience VR, they have to wear goggles, headsets, bodysuits and gloves. A goggle creates an illusion of telespace, which is the experience of being here, being there at the present. By picking up the user's movement and adjusting the view of the screen accordingly. In this way, users can tour an entire room or area without leaving their home. Some of the extra equipment like the gloves or the bodysuits can give the user a sensation of touch. The term virtual reality was coined back in 1987, many years before the VR was created. In 1939, during the New York's World Fair, Fred Waller started working on a device called the Cinerama that was successfully used for anti-craft training in the mid-50s but the VR was first made by a different visionary. Morton Haley is the pioneer of the VR. At a time when people were still using black and white TVs, he went ahead and built himself a 3D video machine. It was the first VR. His wife took on so much debt to work with him on this invention. Haley was an accomplished cinematographer and created the machine along with five movies. But the machine failed so badly in those days because it was way ahead of its time. That machine was called the Sensorama. The Sensorama, released in 1962, included a bucket seat for a single viewer, a set of handles, and viewing holes surrounded by vents. The 3D film was viewed through oculus portals and filled a good portion of the user's point of view. The sensoroma could make users experience gusts of wind, vibrations, and early versions of surround sound and chemical sense. The sensoroma wasn't only the first 3D VR. It could possibly be the first device to offer 4D experience. Too bad there were no investors for it. Although the Sensorama didn't succeed commercially, it led to all this awesome invention that we have today. Morton Haley's work also include many film projects, 4D cinema concepts, visual effects, illusions, and experience rooms. Even his ideas about Sense have led to companies like Sense and labs like Ishida Labs to make devices that output sense. The Sensorama is really one of the most important technologies we've had. Without Sensorama, we wouldn't have VR. Without VR, we wouldn't have the opportunity to get results quickly. For example, VR for training. VR can be used to train the military in a wide range of environments to prep them for battle. It can also improve the abilities of sport personnel by repeatedly showing them a certain scenario until they improve. It can also help with medical training to cut costs and improve the trainees by having them practice on real subjects. VR on mental health. VR can treat people with PTSD, phobias, anxiety, and depression by putting them in situations that enable them to grow out of it. VR for entertainment. VR can make people experience 3D movies, play 4D interactive games, and allow people to socialize and interact in a real virtual world. Now, the future of VR is bright. 
you'll be able to online shop in a virtual world while being able to try on the clothes to see if it fits. We'll be able to travel to any destination we want. We'll be able to interact with our favorite animated characters. I mean, the possibilities are endless. We all seen the anime Sword Art Online. If you have, you know how cool the virtual world can be. But Murphy's Law. What will go wrong will. Murphy's Law. Consider subscribing. Yeah, yeah, I see. Let's just make it handy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The wind against the hands, the wind against the feet. Oh, wind? What, what for the wind? What is wind? Yeah, why the wind? Well, when you ride a motorcycle, oh. or when you have wind. No. That's right. That's right. What you kind have, of, you yeah. have ventilation. If you're in an open car, then you have wind against the top, yeah. but not on the bottom. If you're on a motorcycle, then you have wind against the whole body. All these things are machine. How about the smell? Or what kind of smell? Smell is uh, all kinds of smell. All kinds of smell. Yeah, the machine can take uh, ten smells.